Welcome back to our channel, where we've got some exciting news about Canelo Alvarez and his next big challenge. But before we dive into this thrilling revelation, go ahead and smash that like button and leave a comment, preferably one that makes absolutely no sense. We're all about that chaos today, so get ready to roll your eyes because in May 2024, Canelo Alvarez is planning to take on Jamie Mungia, the fighter who's done, well, nothing to earn this matchup. Get your popcorn ready for what could be the most riveting showdown of the century. Canelo, the pound-for-pound -pound king, wants to face Munguia, who has a record of 42 wins and 33 KOs. Oh boy, this one's going to be a real nail-biter. And if you haven't guessed it yet, both fights will be on Showtime pay-per-view. Get your wallets ready, folks. Now here's where it gets really interesting. People are super pumped about Canelo potentially facing David Benavidez, the rising star in the boxing world. But when it comes to Munguia, well, let's just say there are some doubts. You see, Munguia hasn't achieved anything spectacular to deserve this opportunity. By Canelo fighting Munguia, he might be inspiring promoters to keep pitting their fighters against challenging opponents for a long, long time, just so they can get a glorious payday like Jaime. Genius, right? Now, even though Showtime won't be showing boxing events after 2023, they've still got those two fights left with Canelo in 2024. Talk about convenient timing. Salvador Rodriguez from ESPN Knockout is predicting that Canelo could potentially face Munguia and Benavidez next. But of course, there's a little hurdle. Munguia has to get past John the Gorilla Rider in January. Piece of cake, right? Now, if Canelo actually fights Munguia in May, it might suggest he doesn't care about what the boxing experts think. They might want him to face elite fighters like Dimitri Bivol, Terence Crawford, David Benavidez, or David Morrell. But hey, playing it safe is all the rage these days. But who needs those thrilling matchups when you can save them for later? It's not like we want to see Canelo in fights that are too exciting or anything. We're all about predictable outcomes, right? David Benavidez, the WBC interim super middleweight champion, has to win his fight next month. Otherwise, those September plans with Canelo might just go poof. We're keeping our fingers crossed for the most dramatic outcome. Plans in boxing change all the time, right? If Munguia or Benavidez lose their next fights, those 2024 plans might go up in smoke. It's almost like boxing is full of surprises or something. Munguia had a little hiccup in his last fight against Sergei Derevyanchenko. And it was what, barely a win? So let's not rule out the possibility of him losing in January against Ryder. We're crossing our fingers for the biggest upset ever. Some say Munguia is overrated and hasn't faced many worthy opponents. But who cares about quality wins and talented opposition when we can have this level of suspense and excitement? So let's watch this chaotic drama unfold and don't forget to share your unfiltered thoughts in the comments below. Do you want to see Canelo face Munguia, Benavidez, or just retire to make things more interesting? We can't wait to hear your wild opinions. Thanks for tolerating us today. If you managed to sit through this amazing video, don't forget to hit that like button, or don't, and leave the most bewildering comment you can think of. And of course, subscribe for more bewildering, I mean, exciting updates in the world of sports. See you next time.